See, look, watch. Three important English verbs. Activate your English. The three English verbs, see, look and watch, are frustrating for many of my students. I think this is because they all seem very similar and are to do with the eyes. This English activation pack will help you see how the three verbs differ in meaning. We'll look at ways for you to learn, remember and use these different verbs correctly. All you have to do is sit back and watch this theory part of my English activation pack. Should you want to really activate your English, buy the English activation pack for the price you want to pay at Britlish.com. Eyes. We see, look and watch because we have eyes. But seeing, looking and watching are not all the same. Our eyes take in light from the world around us. That light is focused on the back of the eye and signals are sent to the brain. The signals are converted into images in the brain, though nobody knows quite how this happens. We then perceive the world around us through our eyes. This is called seeing. We see because we have eyes. Seeing. As I said, we see because we have eyes. Eyes take in light from the world around us and there's no way to stop this happening except to cover the eyes with a light proof cover. If you open your eyes and there's nothing to get in the way of the light, you see the world around you. This is a natural process which happens because we have eyes. I can see many things around me at the moment, but I'm only looking at the screen in front of me. Looking. I can see many things around me, but I'm only looking at what I'm writing on the screen. This is the essential difference between see and look. You see things because you have eyes. As soon as you open your eyes, you see things because you have eyes. You look at things you're interested in and focus on. I'm looking at what I'm writing, though I can see many other things in front of me. I'm only focused on what's important to me, and I'm only looking at that. Watching. So, we see because we have eyes, and we look at what we're interested in. That's fairly straightforward, isn't it? But what about watching? Well, I'm looking at the screen because I'm interested in what I'm writing, not on everything else around me. Yet, as I type, I'm watching the cursor on the screen and checking to see that what I'm writing is correct. I'm watching my writing because it's changing and moving, and we watch things that are in a state of change. Let me explain with some examples of how we use see, look and watch. I have eyes. What's that thing up there in the sky? I can't see anything. Where is it? It's up there, just in front of the moon. Can you see it? Oh yes, I can see it now. I think it's a plane, not an alien spaceship, unfortunately. In this exchange, we're talking about the ability of our eyes to see an object in the sky. We see the object because we open our eyes and point them in the direction of the object. If enough light comes from the object to our eyes, we will see the object. See. The verb see is an irregular English verb. This means that we do not add ed to form the past. 
The past tense of see is saw. I saw a program about elephants last night. The past participle of see is seen. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. The present participle of see is seeing. All present participles use the ing form. As see is a stative verb, we don't usually use the continuous aspect. State or action. You see because you have eyes. You don't choose to see, although you can choose to ignore what you see. Because you don't choose to see, see is a state. A state means that something exists regardless of our desire for it to exist. Stative verbs do not normally take the continuous aspect, as it describes something which is happening over time, an action, not a state. Look is an action. You have to choose to look at the thing you saw with your eyes. Watch is an action. You have to choose to watch the thing that is moving in front of your eyes. Seeing. See is a stative verb and cannot normally take the continuous aspect. However, if we're in a relationship with someone, we can say that we are seeing them. I think Jane is seeing Mark. I know that Caroline was seeing Roger before we divorced. If we have an appointment to see a professional, such as a doctor or a lawyer, we can also use the continuous aspect of see. I'm seeing the doctor this afternoon at four. I was supposed to be seeing the lawyer today, but I cancelled the appointment. Seeing is believing. We have a saying in English which uses the gerund form of see. The expression is seeing is believing. Seeing is believing means that when you see something with your own eyes, you believe that it is true. I never dreamed that these English activation packs would be so successful, but seeing is believing. This means that I've seen just how successful these English activation packs have been with students all over the world. Get this one yourself at Britlish.com and see for yourself. See how far. Children will often see how far they can push the boundaries. Let's see how far we can push them before they snap. Little Johnny is seeing how far he can push his parents. Seeing as, seeing that. The expressions seeing as and seeing that are used as conjunctions. They mean the same as since, because and as. She's going to clean the warehouse, seeing as it's her job. You should make them pay for it, seeing that they cause the damage. Dependent prepositions. Some verbs in English depend on certain prepositions to be used correctly. The verb look, as in when you use your eyes, is one such verb and its dependent preposition is at. When look has an object, we must always use the preposition at. Just look at this place, it's amazing. She's looking at the clear blue water. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. Look for. When we search for something, we look for it. Look for is a phrasal verb which means to search for something. He's been looking for a new job for several months now. You need to look for a new job. I've been looking for a new job for a while now. Look up to. To look up to someone is to admire them and to treat them as a role model. 
She really looked up to firemen when she was young, and when she saw a chance to join the service, she jumped at the chance. She's never looked back since. Never looked back. To have never looked back is to have become successful and then continued to be ever more successful. I started making these English activation packs as a way of helping as many students as possible around the world improve their English skills. To make sure as many students as possible could benefit from them, I decided to make them available for the price that the students wanted to pay. I have to say that since then I've never looked back. Look forward to. When you look forward to something, you are eagerly anticipating it. Many of my students look forward to my next English activation pack. I look forward to making a new English activation pack each time I complete one. I'm looking forward to hearing from students who buy my English activation packs. I've been looking forward to publishing this latest English activation pack. Watch the clock. When you're desperate to finish something, like your day in the office, you'll be constantly watching the clock to see how long you have left. Someone who watches the clock is known as a clock watcher and is determined not to work a moment longer than they have to. You'd be better off getting on with your job than watching the clock all afternoon. Clock watchers are not good employees. I hope that you're enjoying this English activation pack and are not tempted to watch the clock. Like watching paint dry. When you say that something is like watching paint dry, you're saying that it's very boring. I hope that this English activation pack isn't like watching paint dry. I'm sure it isn't, seeing as I go to great lengths to make these packs as interesting and entertaining as possible. Watch this space. The informal interjection, watch this space, means that there is more to come. This English activation pack is not going to be the last. I'm constantly working on new ones, so watch this space. Activation quiz. The best way to learn, remember and use the three verbs see, look and watch is to use them. To give you plenty of practice using them, I've created an activation quiz with a huge bank of interactive questions. Each time you do the activation quiz, you'll be asked six random questions designed to give you practice using the verbs. To see a new quiz, just refresh your browser and you'll quickly be looking at six new questions. The activation quiz is available only in the English activation pack at Britlish.com. Activation Pack. What you've watched in this video English lesson is the theory part of the English Activation Pack. This way of learning is passive. A more effective way to learn is through active learning. The English Activation Pack at British.com gives you the tools to activate your English learning. To get access to the activation material, buy the English Activation Pack for the price you want to pay today. Online English classes. If you really want to improve your English faster than you ever thought possible, online English classes are for you. I've taught many thousands of online English classes since 2006. My students find that online English classes are the most convenient way to learn English. 
Wherever you have an internet connection, you can have your English classes. At home, in the office, or even in the park. Wherever you are, I'll come to you. Book an introductory class at Britlish.com today and see how online English classes can help you get the level of English you've always dreamed of.